This here we have our B35 series normally closed valve. So what does normally closed mean? It means you have to put power to the valve to open it, to allow flow through. Another important feature about this valve is it's a differential valve. So from its inlet to its outlet, it needs a difference in pressure across the valve. So this means if you applications like mains water, downstream of a pump, compressed air, anything where you get a pressure drop across the valve is okay for this valve. Applications where you couldn't use it is for instance tank drain, uh, low gravity applications, very low pressure, things like this you can't use this valve for. It comes with a DIN plug which has an LED in it. This LED illuminates with its power to the valve, a coil here and the body of the valve. So this is everything you need. All you need to do is wire it up. It comes in all voltages. Another important feature when installing this valve is the direction of flow. If you have a look on the side of the valve, it has an arrow. This is the direction you flow. So inlet to outlet. If you put it around the other way, the valve will leak. It won't work. Now let's have a look inside this valve. First of all, I'm going to take the DIN plug off. Just loosen the screw at the back here and pull it off. Next is the coil. This is where the electromagnetic field is created. Just loosen the nut off on the top. And take the shroud off. Now sizes up to one inch have the shroud. Bigger than that, don't have a shroud. Next, we have this plate in here which holds the operator in place. I just loosen this off. So if we look at this valve, this is the machining, the jet. Now, inside the operator, we have the armature and the spring. Now if you want to have a look inside the valve, you'll need an Allen key. Uh, loosen these four bolts off. If your valve stops working suddenly or is leaking, it's worth checking in here to see if any debris is lodged in the diaphragm or in the bleed holes. Take the top of the body off. Now here you'll note the spring. This spring holds the diaphragm in place. Now part of the reason why you need a minimum differential pressure is as it comes up, the pressure has to push this diaphragm up and compress the spring into the roof of the valve. And your diaphragm with a stainless steel plate. Now this is one of your bleed holes which lets pressure onto the top of the diaphragm. You probably can't see it, it's a very minute hole. It's important for that to be free.